Hello, I am Dr. Professor Patrick, and I am a certified mad scientist at Herp Derp Labs. I currently am studying the mystical wonders of cystic fibrosis. I don't need this mic. <clears throat> what is cystic fibrosis, you ask? It is a hereditary disease that affects the cells that create mucus, sweat, digestive juices in the organs like lungs and the pancreas and the stomach. There'll be pictures there later. List the symptoms. There are lots of wonderful symptoms. Lovely symptoms. Symptoms in newborns are like delayed growth, failure to gain weight normally during childhood, no bowel movements within the first 24 to 48 hours of life, and salty tasting skin. Yummy yummy. That doesn't sound too bad, but it gets worse. Yippee! <clears throat> Huh. Bowel function related symptoms include belly pain from severe constipation, nausea, loss of appetite, stools that are pale or gray, foul smelling, and have mucus or float, and weight loss. Hmm. We aren't through yet. The fun is just beginning. Symptoms related to lungs and sinuses include coughing or increase in inflammation in the sin sinuses, fatigue, nasal congestion, caused by nasal polyps, which are these things. Insert picture here. Recurring episodes of pneumonia. Symptoms in someone with cystic fibrosis may also include fever, increased coughing, increased shortness of breath, loss of appetite, sinus pain, or pressure caused by infection or polyps. Wow, we are almost done here. Symptoms that may be observed later in life are infertility in men, uh, repeated inflammation of the pancreas, pancreatitis, and respiratory symptoms. How, how, how is it genetically passed? Essentially, cystic fibrosis is an inherited autosomal recessive pattern, meaning both copies of the gene in the cell has mutations. Parents of an individual with autosomal recessive condition each carry one copy of the mutated gene, but typically do not show signs of and symptoms of the condition. So cystic fibrosis can be passed on to offspring Hmm, maybe. Anyway, treatments. There are a variety of exciting and fun treatments, depending on the stage of the disease. Postural drain and percussion is a method. This is where a person sits, stands, lies in a position that helps free mucus, and may use a mechanical vest that shakes the mucus loose. <clears throat> Inhaled medi medication could be taken with a nebulizer machine that turns liquid meds in <clears throat> into a fine mist so that it can go deep into the lungs. Some of these meds are TOBI, which is an aerolyzed antibiotic to treat long-term infections. Then there is polyzyme, uh, hmm, that's a fun word, polymazyme, which is a drug that comes out as a mist and th thins mucus. There is a bronchodilator that opens airways. Also, there is a hypertonic saline to help draw water into the airways to thin mucus. There are other treatments, like azarothromycin. I know what I'm saying. An antibiotic that fights bacteria in the lungs. Also, there are anti-inflammatory meds, such as ibuprofen, to help reduce swelling in the airways. Here is a video of my colleague, Casey Peters, doing his treatments. His disease is called bronchiactasis, which is similar to cystic fibrosis and requires same, if not similar, treatment. Okay, so here is my friend Casey Peters. Say hi, Casey. So he might not have cystic fibrosis. He has something very close enough, though. So here we have the vibrator doohickey mabob that pounds on his chest and loosens up that good mucus, and then we have the 
vaporizer that he breathes in stuff and you just died on Call of Duty. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Very fun. Right? Thumbs up. Oh, well. If you are wondering if there are other people like me that research this disease, there are. One large organization in particular is Cystic Fibrosis Canada. An organization that started in 1960. Now, in 2012, 50% of Canadians with cystic fibrosis are expected to live into their 40s and beyond. Their main principle is to help people with cystic fibrosis by funding research. Cystic Fibrosis Canada is a global leader in cystic fibrosis research, investing more dollars in life-saving research than any other non-government agency in Canada. From 2011 into 2012, Cystic Fibrosis Canada has invested $6.5 million, Canadian dollars, I guess, in programs that research cystic fibrosis. Another large organization is the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation of the United States. Established in 1955, there are now, they are now the world's leader in cystic fibrosis research and fund more research than any other organization. And thanks to them, nearly every cystic fibrosis drug available was made possible through found their foundation support. They are a non-profit organization that prior prioritizes in fighting cystic fibrosis and developing new drugs. They have been noted by Harvard Business School like, and publications like Forbes and The New Yorker. They have also been recognized by the National Institutes of Health. I hope you've learned a lot about cystic fibrosis and, um... Ooh, it sucks. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Bon appétit. And that's all, folks.